how to add custom fonts in MailChimp email. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how easy it is to add a custom font to your MailChimp email. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over MailChimp.com. Then you only need to log in for an account. As you can see here, I'm going to click on log in. Then we are going to get to our uh, MailChimp admin dashboard. So once that is done, you are going simply to head over here at the emails. So we are going to either create a campaign or you can go ahead and see all of the campaigns. I will let you see here how we can create an email campaign. So right here, we are going to select email. We have some choices for regular email, plain text or templates. And here we have the standard button of designing email. So you are going to click on design email. Then you are going to see the uh, further steps that you, you need to complete to process to the email. So right here we have two or the recipients. We have here the uh, from or the sender. You have an email address, which is our standard email address that is created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. We have the subject that you need to add here. For example, you are going to add or send a newsletter, for example, or you are going to uh, send uh, something else. Here also we have the preview text that you need to show off. Click on save when you finish these. Then we have the sending time. You can go ahead and edit it, set it here, send now or schedule it. For the content here, which is our last step is to choose here a template. Go ahead and choose a template or from the drafted emails. We have some free and some uh, paid emails. We are going to only use from drafted emails. So let's go ahead and click on uh, apply right there. Here we have a image. So we have some uh, texts. Now to get the fonts or the fonts codes, you're going simply to head over Google fonts. Here we have Google fonts. We're going to see here the uh, fonts that are available. So go ahead and choose whatever font is available. So here on MailChimp, make sure that you have the classic editor and not the uh, the new one. So you are going to click on your account, click on account and billing. Then we are going to see here the settings, click on details. Now we are going to scroll down a little bit until you see here the default email builder. Usually in the newest version, you're going to see here the new builder, but we are going to need the help of the classic builder. So click on here the classic, click save here or there. Then you are going to create a new email. So then you are going to click on regular email design and set up everything from here. Then you are going to design the content. So we are going to design the content. So now we are going to use any of these uh, here, as you can see, uh, here we have this upgradable. So we are going to use only the free one. We are going to wait for it. Then select any of the text areas. So for example, let's go ahead and select this one. We are going to click on the pen tool. Then we are going to select all of the text, select a font to it, for example, Arial. Then we are going to click on the parenthesis, which is the source here. As you can see, we are going to read the font name and their age, one of the texts. So we are going to select the font name. Then we are going back right there to the Google fonts. So we are going to select here the font family, for example, this one. We're going back right there. So then we are going to change it. So this was for the title. Maybe you are not going to see something else, but here we have this one, the second one. And we are going to set it here, for example, for the third one, like that. And here we have the Montserrat, as you can see here, uh, set. So when you are going to click on it, you're going to see here the code, select all of this, see the code. And here we have the Montserrat insert. This is the custom font that we've made from Google and it is much simpler and much effective. Uh, there are some fonts that can't be uh, read by the version of this square, uh, this MailChimp. So maybe you will not see some changes, but the font is there. 
So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.